Hey guys, welcome back to another fan game tutorial. And I'm gonna show you how to add a computer with name saving and um, you can change your name and color. Okay, so this tutorial is gonna be kind of complicated. So just kind of listen to what I say, do everything I do. Okay, so we're gonna start with, I'm not even gonna make, um, what do you call it? I'm not gonna make a stand for the computer. I'm just gonna put it on the floor. Um, so what you do first is Go to my Discord and then find the um, the computer Unity package. Just drag it into Unity. I would put it in like I just put mine in assets and then click import. Then all this stuff will pop up and just drag in where it says computer and it's a little like cube. Drag it in and or if it says if it shows the picture, drag it in. Um, and then once you have your computer, you can open Gorilla Rig, Gorilla Player. And on your left hand controller, make sure to add tag and call it, okay, I'll just show you how to do it. Add tag, click the plus, type in where it says right here, hand tag, just type that in and then put it um, on both uh, controllers. And then make sure you have the layer so you can add a layer and then left hand and, and add one for right hand. I'm pretty sure I did that in the cosmetics tutorial, but just making sure you have these. Uh, so hand tag on both and then right hand on right hand controller and left hand on left hand controller um make sure main camera has main camera tag and that should be good now how to save your name uh go to the go to my discord and then in the i'll put a screenshot where you can find it it's a channel called like computer stuff or whatever and then get save manager.cs and drag it in to Unity. Once you have save manager, make it, uh, if you saw my multiplayer tutorial, if you should have like a networking um, empty with uh, all your stuff in it. And this is also how I show the lights, I put it in networking. So make it empty. I like doing this, I like making it empty and calling it multiplayer I, I that's just what I do and I take my manager spawn a uh, player spawner and voice and put it in multiplayer and I also make an empty multiplayer called name name saver and on name saver add save manager and then where it says name script click it and then click keyboard so again, click this dot and then double tap keyboard or one click. Uh, it should work. You can type in it and then basically where your name will go on your player, it will be right here. Um, I'll show you in another tutorial how to put it on your chest, but this is okay for now. Okay, um, now how to add a... What do you call it? Color changer. This is where it gets complicated. You have to do exactly what I say. So, in um, in my server, in my Discord, find a, a color and drag it into Unity. And now I'll click all and import. You don't have to click all if they're already all checked. Um. Then go to your wherever you put it. Okay, if you can't find it, just search up color. And then you can find right here it says color. So just drag this in. Um basically put it exactly or around where your keyboard is. Spin it how you need it. And then what you're gonna do is uh you can either have two separate computers, but I like doing it this way. So do that and then on your computer, click the monitor and then click control D on it. And then you can name this color monitor. And then just delete, uh, no wait, delete text. No, delete the first text TMP. Either on this one, change it to whatever you want.
and then you can drag this out put this in the middle okay now you'll see it like interlaps with the name and then whatever new text you have so what you're going to do is disable wait no move color monitor to the color thing so you'll see red green red blue green and then the duplicated monitor from the name called color monitor and you can change the text and then what you're going to do is disable color so choose color and then just uncheck it and then uh, I like doing it this way you don't have to do it my way you can choose backspace control D and you can name it um, name tab and then I like I like doing it like this because you then you have a free uh, text it's already ready you can call this name and then make sure on the name tab delete backspace script delete that and then move it where you want your tab to be so when you click this it'll activate the name and then you can you can move this somewhere else just put it up here so I'm actually gonna do something I'm gonna call it computers and then drag color and computer in and I'm gonna make another empty called tabs. I'm just sorting. Sorting is really good in Unity. You gotta sort. If you don't sort, bad things are gonna happen. So duplicate name tab and bring it down just a little bit. Um, and then on the text, you can name this to color. So now you have a name. Hold on, let me turn these down. So now you have a name tab, a color tab, and then you start with your name computer. And now on the tabs, choose your name tab. Oh yeah, I need to make, change the name of this. So now, I, okay, go to your name tab, and right here click, oh wait, no, 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 go to my server. Go to my server and find a save manager, no wait. Go to my server and find computer tabs.cs and then drag it into your scripts right here. And then drag, not drag, keep, download the message text document thing. Actually, no, just there's instructions on the Discord. <laughs> um, basically, just copy the text and we'll do this now. Uh, go to your Photon uh, VR. Go to Resources, Photon VR Player, and then on the Player thing, scroll down where it says Photon VR Player Script. Click the three dots. Click Edit Script. This is the most important thing. Okay. Um, go to the Discord and you'll see the message thing. You don't have to download it. Just copy everything in it. The reason mine looks like this is because I I downloaded it. Copy it. So Control C. And then go to your script, whatever thing you use to open the script. Click Control A, and it selects everything. And then click Control V. So now the new script is in there. And then click Control S. And then close that. And close anything else. Now it'll load. And once it's done loading, on the right. Now on player, you will now see you should see skinned color objects. So this means you can change the skin to mesh render color. So depends on it depends on how many like mesh renders you have. So I have um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine. So I'm gonna go to player, I'm gonna add on the skin color objects, I'm gonna add one, two, three, four, or I can just say nine. And then drag each of your skin color objects in to each of these once you have all of them there click control s go back to your main scene and then uh disable computer and then enable color so now uh 
you can see anything you type anything you touch here will change your color on your character so we're gonna disable that and enable computer so go to your name tab so just select your name tab not the text the actual block um add component and you just had gotten the um, computer tab script so where it says old tabs um, basically for so we're doing name so uh, old tab would be there would be one because we only have one other tab it would be color so put color there and then new tab because we're on name you want the new tab when you click name to be uh, the computer so basically you click this and it, it disables the old computer it disables color the computer and then it enables a name computer so it's saying old tabs it disables whatever old tabs uh, other old computers there are and then it enables a new one when you click it so the name tab make it look like this and then your color tab make it uh, add a thing so now the old tab is going to be the name computer and then the new tab is going to be color so make it look like that and then click control s now we're going to overview everything you have so on your gear rig left hand controller hand tag and left hand layer right hand controller hand tag right hand layer then you have your name saver okay and then make sure name saver uh, save manager script is on the name saver and then name script click the dot make sure it's keyboard and then um you have your computer your name computer in the game then you have your color computer in the game your color computer is disabled but it should look like that and then computer your um your color computer is disabled your name computer is enabled and then on your name tab it should look like this and on your color tab it should look like this then make sure you control S and then click play and I'll show you how it works. Okay. Now if you move over here. Use your left hand, whatever controller you want. And I'm going to click the keyboard and you're going to see names. See, it's coming up. Okay, and see how I didn't even, I'm, I'm just gonna leave it like that. And I click stop. I click play again. It basically checks the ID and saves your name. And then on the tabs, so if you wanna go to color, click the color tab. And if you want to go to name, click the name tab, color, name, color. Okay, and on color, you can say like, you can change all your colors and stuff. Okay. Um, okay, that's all. Um, all the credits are in the description. And my Discord server is in the description. So, bye. Okay. And then...